Hey everyone, um, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to talk about my February TBR. I am going, I don't, I don't know how much time I'm going to have to read, to be honest, in February. I'm starting a new job soon um, and I'll be learning the ropes and stuff during February. So I don't know actually what my routine's gonna be, um, but I've sort of got an idea of where my reading is going to take me. So I might not get through all of these, in February, but I'm certainly gonna, gonna give it a good crack. Um, and so, uh, I won't waste any time, I'll get right into it. Um, the first book I want to read is The Five Giants, um, a biography of the welfare state by Nicholas Timmins. Um, this book is uh, was originally published in the 90s, I believe. Um, and then, it was, it's, this is a new edition that sort of covers it up to, I think, 2016 or 2017. So it updates like the end, but I don't think he's done much updating in the beginning part of it. He's just like added stuff. Um, and this is what it says on the tin, a biography of the welfare state. It's in, in the UK. So the idea is it's, to, it's going to give you um, an overview of how the welfare state in the UK works and why it was set up that way and give you some color around the, the political battles and whatnot um, when, it, when it was getting set up. Um, and the idea is to try give you um, an idea of the, the battles around the welfare state to show you that the battles that were living. I, I read the introduction and the preface and basically the battles that we are always fighting and the ideas that we have about conservatives and the Labour Party um, and how they feel about the welfare state and what their attitudes are, um, how accurate that is and how inaccurate it is, um, and just give you give you a broad, broad idea. Um, it's a bit of a chunky book. I think it runs to about 700 pages, um, but... I've read like a part of it and the prose seems very readable. It's very British style though. Um, Timmins was a, a columnist at, I think the, the Times or the Independent maybe. Um, and so, yeah, so he worked for the Press Association, the Times, the Independent and the Financial Times. Um, so, and he sort of moved around welfare state issues during that time um but yeah it's very british um but seems to be very readable so i'm looking forward to this one um after that i've made a commitment to myself that i want to read more fiction this year um and so i don't have the first first of the books but i've got here i've got the oh that's not focusing um, the honorable schoolboy by john le Carre. this is the second book in the carla trilogy um, the first one is Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. Um, I've got that on my Kindle. I couldn't find... I, I really love this edition of the book. Um, it's a Penguin... My Penguin Classics edition. Um, and I'll just take the dust jacket off. Um, show you. This is what it looks like. Ooh. That's what it looks like. Um, so I'm excited to read this one. Um, but I couldn't find... Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy in this edition, so I just got that on my Kindle for now. Um, and I've started actually reading that, um, just slowly, but I want to finish, I want, want to make a commitment to finish at least the first two volumes, or the first two, first two books in the Carla Trilogy. The last one is, I think, called Smiley's People, so I want to read that one as well. Um, and that's going to be sort of the, the start of my fiction reading, at least for this year. Um, and then two other books that I have on the list that I want to get to in February are Ian Kershaw's To Hell and Back um, and Roller Coaster. Um, and these are his entries into the um, Penguin History of Europe. Um, to Hell and Back covers 1914 to 1949. So basically from the outbreak of the First World War um, up to the end of the Second World War and the beginning of the Cold War. And then um, Roller Coaster is 1950 to 2017. So where this book leaves off up to the present. So it's going to cover 
the Cold War in more detail, Soviet Union, the Iron Curtain, all of that sort of stuff, the fall of the Soviet Union, decommunization, all of those sorts of things. Um, this is set as required background reading for my history course I'm taking this, this first semester. So um, that's why I want to get to them in February. But if I don't finish them, that's all right, because I can read them like during the course. Um, and so I, I have read this one before, but I think I read it on audiobook and I don't remember it that well. Um, so I want to read both of them and sort of flag them and take notes and whatnot. So those are on the list for February. Um, and then I do sort of dip in and out of books on Audible. Um, this year, again, I don't know what my routine's going to be. I don't have a very long commute anymore. So Audible won't work that well for me this year, I don't think. But I've got a couple that I'm, I'm reading. Um, the... First one is Hitler and Stalin by Lawrence Rees. Um, I've seen it floating around in bookshops, but like it's just one of those ones I know that I'll buy and it will sit on the the shelf and I'll never get around to reading it um, just because I've got other stuff that I want to read. Um, so I picked it up on Audible. Um, it does work very well as an audiobook. Um, I think the, the concepts are sort of comparing. It basically goes through each chapter and compares different things it, during the, the war that like Hitler and Stalin did um, and contrast them, their leadership style and their personality. So that's interesting. Um, and then the other one I've got is Dominion by Tom Holland. Um, and that one is basically a history of Christianity, um, but focusing on how Christianity has affected the modern world. Um, and like it's a little bit tough to get through. I don't have any familiarity with the subject. It's very interesting stuff, um, and again, I'm going through it slowly. Um, but I'll have to see how Audible goes this year in terms of, like, I used to just listen to it on my commutes, and I'd get through a lot of books that way, but I don't have a commute anymore, so I don't know how that's going to work. Anyway, that's all I've got for this one. I'll keep it nice and short. Those are the books I'm planning to read in February, um, and I'll come back, uh, maybe do a video at the end of February, uh, reviewing what I did read. Um, so thanks for watching, um, leave a like if you liked the video and um, hit the subscribe button um, so that you will get all future videos. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.